Okay. It is 5.10 p.m. or 17.10 on the 27th of September 2015. It's a Sunday afternoon. Notice I haven't got my hat on. No. I'm taking it easy because tomorrow I'll go back to work. I've got a job to do at the railway stations and other places like that. Working for this charity and handing out and gather and collecting donations. Well, let's leave that besides the present moment and talk about the issue I'm on about at the, right now. Sit back and relax yourself. Let's discuss this over again. I'll state now, this Pope is very, very, very different than all other Popes. Even the way he came into office. He didn't come into office through the death of another Pope. He came through the office through the resignation of Pope Benedict, Benedict, Benedictine, a German Pope, in 2013. That was different. This Pope is extremely political and he's trying to dictate what the world's United Nations should do. He's, that is not his job. His job as the leader of 1.2 billion Catholics worldwide is to perform to their spiritual needs not to tell the world what they should do. I'm afraid this Pope has signs of a false prophet. I can't say he's the false prophet because it's not, I can't do. But he has signs of a, or he has a good heart, which is, which is good, but something which I don't, I can see is being capable of being very deceptive. And the coming false prophet under the beast will be deceptive. Extremely deceptive. The Bible states that he will deceive many, many, many people, including the elect. This Pope is a member of the Illuminati, which is not good, and a number of other things. Thank you very much for listening to me. And I'll talk again later. Bye for now. Okay, I'll sign off for that. And bye.